everybody. How y'all doing? I am completely underdressed. Look at y'all. It's nice to see you. I really want to uh, just begin by thanking Patty Cosgrave, the founder of Collision and the whole Collision family, all of the entrepreneurs out there, the investors, for coming to my great city, the city of New Orleans. You like it, don't you? Y'all been in and around? I hope a couple of y'all are staying, a little extended vacation. You do know Jazz Fest is operating. It's the largest musical festival in the world, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy yourself. And I want to welcome you here. I'm particularly thrilled that Collision has decided to move from Las Vegas to New Orleans for the next three years. Now, that's exactly right. You know how they say that what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas? Y'all have heard that? Raise your, you heard that, right? What goes on in New Orleans, you can tell anybody about because you're supposed to have fun. <laughs> this is a, Vegas is a great place, but New Orleans is a great place too. And what you've seen in this city in the last 10 years is a city that has made itself become the, this nation's most immediate laboratory for innovation and change. We have really decided to recreate ourselves. We have had young people from around the world that have come to do really exciting things in the city. And as you get around, whether it's our healthcare delivery system, the government, whether it's our tech system, we're playing in the digital space in a very aggressive way. We are slowly shaping ourselves into a 21st century knowledge-based economy. So you are gonna find a very welcome space to actually grow businesses and create businesses. Whether you're a big business like GE that's got a footprint here, or a small company like In Exile that continues to grow in a very aggressive way, we want you not only to come visit, but we want you to plant a flag in the city of New Orleans and stay with us. So I came primarily to say thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good time. And I have the great pleasure of introducing uh, the next panel and this young man uh, whose name is Steve Gleason. Uh, he's, gonna, he's coming up in just a second. Uh, one of the things that helped the city of New Orleans find its soul uh, was redemption and resurrection through sports. The Saints were a big, big deal in our ability to come back. Uh, we got that Superdome opened, which, as you know, was a, the scene of a bunch of terrible pictures after Katrina. We renovated it, put it back in business, and the Saints showed up to play our nemesis, the Atlantic Falcons. And on that night, Steve blocked the first punt, uh, field goal, took it back, and we wound up winning the game. And this city on that day figured that if, you know, we could come back from anything. And Steve has been a tremendous hero to us in the city of New Orleans because not long after that, he was diagnosed with ALS. And it has taken a terrible toll on him. But he did something that should be miraculous to all of us. Instead of just kind of going away, he decided that he was going to use the tremendous challenges in front of him to challenge us as a people. And Steve has become a great humanitarian, a great philanthropist, and somebody that is really pushing the envelope on how to use technology to affect and change health outcomes for people. There is nobody that has been more courageous, nobody that's been more visionary, nobody that's been more purposeful in their mission to turn the city of New Orleans around by turning his life around and the lives of so many other people. And Steve and his team, Team Gleason, who are gonna find a way to fight ALS and never surrender, is gonna be with you now with the next panel. So please help me welcome our very dear friend, Mr. Steve Gleason. Welcome to New Orleans and thank you guys for coming back.